Well, hopefully we can start talking about week two now against San Francisco 49ers because you know this past week I've stayed I've stayed away from really saying a lot. Um, I've heard a lot of things, not really on YouTube, not just on YouTube, but Facebook, here around town, just from Cowboys fans, and it's really been just draining uh, listening to people talk about this team and the players on this team, mainly the quarterback. Um, you know, after you know, right after that game started, I I, I read what people wrote on Twitter and Facebook, Cowboys fans pretty much saying get rid of Tony Romo, that they're sick of him, they're tired of it, they, they want to get someone else. I've heard solutions as in start Stephen McGee, that he gives a better chance to win. Um, I've heard let's tank the season so we can get Andrew Luck. None of these are viable at all. Um, this is just people just venting and wanting something different and, and striving for something that they don't have. Um, but in doing so, you forget what you do have. You have a quarterback who can win you those games. And because we have him, we get to complain about this team. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Does anyone remember what this team was before Romo became the starting quarterback? We went through a quarterback carousel like none seen before, other than maybe the Cleveland Browns. And we finally get a guy who not only can – be a NFL starting quarterback, but a guy who can win games and, and push this team further. Has he made mistakes? Yeah. But last week, after getting removed from that game, I looked back at that game. For three quarters, he was lights out. He threw over, for over 300 yards against the Jets. Only one guy did that last year against that team. This is a team that's gone to the AFC Championship twice in, in the last two years and has been touted as the best defense in the league, and rightfully so. Romo, for three quarters, made them look bad and was really finding the open spots and, and, and moving this team down the field. In the end, yeah, he made the mistakes. He fumbled the football at the goal line, and he threw the really bad pick that sealed the game. But, with, but between the block punt and the defense not being able to stop anybody, this was a team loss. And it was Tony Romo who kept us ahead in that ball game. And... You know, I, I've even, and, and some people, because people know, and, and you guys know me, you guys know that I'm a Tony Romo guy. And a lot of people have come to me telling me, hey, man, you're a Longhorn, right? Well, look what Texas did with Garrett Gilbert. They benched him to get a younger guy in there that could help the team out. And to that I say, you have no idea what you're talking about. Two completely separate situations. Because I can take throwing picks. It sucks, and it makes you mad, and no one gets madder at the Cowboys than I do watching the game. You guys ever watch a game with me, you'll know. It gets stupid around here. But the difference between Garrett Gilbert and Tony Romo is Garrett Gilbert was throwing picks, but that was what made me mad about it. It, it wasn't like throwing the picks, was, that was the, the, the deal breaker for me. The deal breaker for me was that it was a stagnant offense. The horns could not move the ball. It was three and out and gone getting third and eights, third and ninths, third and thirteens, and not being able to complete any kind of legitimate pass. The Dallas Cowboys, we don't have that problem. This is not a stagnant offense. Tony Romo has a great chemistry with all the wide receivers and the tight ends. And I love the chemistry he's built with Felix Jones. Those out-of-the-backfield passes are spot on when they're ready. And for Cowboys fans to want to take this guy off the team – and pretty much lose this season, I don't understand it. Okay, I get frustrated too. But I don't even know. I mean, it, it's almost like people, like Cowboys fans are rooting against Tony. Because here's what I heard last year. Or not really last year, who's hurt last year. But some games when Romo will have a good ball game and will win the game, I will hear Cowboys fans get upset about that. They will say, well, doggone it. Now he's going to stay a little bit longer. Do you guys listen to yourselves? So this week as a Cowboys fan, I really hope Tony goes off against the 49ers. But there's a lot of pressure on him and this team because right now what they're having to deal with, and I hope they're not, but it could creep in. From last season with Romo, we had a very bad start to last year. Um, we had a very similar game against the Washington Redskins so we, in week one, and we never really got back on track. Once we kind of we, we beat Houston, we started to feel like we were, and that's when Tony went down. And it was kind of like I really wanted to see what this team could have done, but John Kidd did a great job coming in under the circumstances. This year, I, I want this week against the 49ers, this whole team is going to have to stay locked in to get this W. The Cowboys should win this ball game. I mean, they really should. I think they are a better football team on defense and on offense. Niners looked good last week against Seattle. 
The Cowboys are not Seattle. The Jets are not Seattle. Um, I think the but that then again, I think the Niners are going to throw everything they have at the Cowboys. You're going to see a very hard fought game. You're at Candlestick. It's going to be rough, and it it, it is cool because you know I'm a kid from the '90s. I remember growing up. Uh, when when Cowboys Niners was a huge huge game, and I, that was I mean back in the '90s when I was a young, when I was a little kid, like if you asked me what team I hated the most, it was the San Francisco 49ers because it was every time we met up, it was a huge game, NFC championships, um, big games during the season that decided who was going to get the one seed, huge ball games. This this year. Both teams, I think the Cowboys have kind of established that they are a good football team, but you are seeing the Niners kind of rise up and trying to get back to what they were. We'll see if that's true this coming Sunday. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be cheering on my quarterback and my team. Hopefully he goes off again without the mistakes. Hey, makes me mad too. But I, he, Tony Romo is the guy for this team. And uh, if you ask the guys on the team, it's not just they're not just giving sports answers. You can tell legitimately these guys – Want this guy on behind center? He feel they feel they that he gives them the best chance. I don't want to mess with that chemistry. And I don't think the fans need to be putting that much more pressure on this team. They've got enough pressure as it is. We'll see you guys later. How about them Cowboys? And let's get our get our first W this Sunday against the 49ers. See you guys later.